Why, hello there. It is I, the Cheesy Cat. And this is Splatoon 2 Octo Canyon. This is another video where I do all the work for you guys for the completion of all the collectibles. Our next location is Suction Cup Lookout. And this is what the completion looks like. So let's get started. So in the area itself, there's this one box that's hidden behind a bunch of other boxes. A very kind of like closed off place. I do a little show off of what it is there. But that's where the Sidenium is. In the same exact area, there's also a box that if you climb up, shoot at it, you get a ticket. An experience up ticket, which is the first one you should get in the game. And then for the sunken scroll, you have more balloons. Make sure you're quick at popping them. My fire rate was low at this point, so I like messed up three times. Jeez. <laughs> but this time I get it. But either way, all, all three of those items are pretty much in the same area. If you're having trouble with the scroll, just find level 7 and jump there. And that's what the sticker looks like. Next, we start the stages. Enter the Octo Hurler, which is the fourth stage here. Now the first part is a Sardinium, which is hidden right in the first area, right before jumping. This next part I wanted to include because of what Marie says. <laughs> it's funny. The Sunken Scroll is actually a little bit more tricky to get. But you are going to want to ride one of those, I guess, painting platforms. And they go off screen, so it's kind of obvious for me that the Sunken Scroll is under the stage there. And that's it for that stage this looks to be a do-it-yourself guide for starting your own mobile business it looks new but somebody must have been frying something near it it has some grease stains on it crusty sean's next up we have the octo park stage five where we get the dualies now we do get a ticket here now if you you see these two rails you'll just want to follow the things and as long as you're jumping at the right moment you'll get the experience ticket very easily just make sure you're paying attention this area where you'll want to go all the way on the left once you're able to and once you get it you jump to the sardinium easy to miss but we're gonna go on to the next part which is the sunken scroll this is very obvious but it's a little bit easy to miss if you don't jump at the right time. But there it is. This looks like a get rich scheme by some shady guy with crazy hair. I made a cool 10 million G in a year just sitting around. Ask me how. Do people really fall for this build? Yes, we all did. Good thing Spike's not in charge anymore. Next up, Octo Zeppelin Invasion. So the Sardinium is first, and it's super easy to see. The only thing is those Zeppelins will come out of there and kill you if you're not quick enough. Now here I was showing where to get the Sunken Scroll, and I missed it the first time actually, so I had to do it over. But you'll come to these boxes kind of in the wall. And see that rail that you can shoot at with your sniper of course and that's basically it as long as you notice that then you can get to the next area where there's tons of orange boxes the one that's sitting up on the ledge is where the sunken scroll is it was very easy for me to miss to be honest What could have happened to the two embracing? No matter how one loves, there are always different aims. Love can take a great many forms, whatever the era. Next up we have Back Alley Cleanup. 
right after you jump on the first big squeegee, you're gonna come to this area where obviously you can see me looking for the sunken scroll. It's just behind the jump point, or to the side, not behind. Next is the Sardinium, and that box I'm showing you, yep, plain in sight, there's the Sardinium, but how do you get to it? Well, we could just ride this guy, right? We just need the key. I'm gonna show you something though. When you get the key and paint this rail, it it pretty much just sends you right to the Sardinium. So it d d didn't even matter. You don't have to ride the squeegee. There we go. Sardinium obtained. Many travelers find themselves in Inkopolis Square at some point in their journey. Youth from far-flung seas gather in this colorful hub of comings, goings, meetings, and farewells. Up next is Spinning Campground, the 8th level. The first item is actually not either of the Sunken Scroll or Sardinium, but if you're looking down, you'll find the coin ticket right under there. And the Sardinium's pretty not that hard to miss if you're not rushing. You just go down the side and it's there. Next up is the Sunken Scroll, which do not fall shooting these things. And I almost missed it, but then I noticed that this one went real far. And if you follow that far one, it takes you right to the scroll. Inkopolis holds its famous card game tournament once a year. This year, first time entrant Jalfonzo appeared on the scene and promptly set about decimating the competition. He walked away with the first place trophy. Next up is Octoling Strike, our first level where we meet with some Octolings. Now, the first one, you'll you'll run into a wall which looks pretty suspicious. Now, be careful here because the Octoling does pop up. Um, but this is probably one of the first areas where we find a sunken scroll hidden in the ink. So you'll have to shoot the ink to find it. The Sardinium works the same way, but it's next to the Octoling spawn point. Net the freshest gear around. Get the abilities you've always dreamed about. Orders will be fulfilled by that weird kid with the spiky hair. Interested? Send inquiries to Annie. And thus was born the Splat app. <laughs> so we're going to show off the completion once again. That is basically everything. Hope you guys like the video. Hit it like if you love it. Comment below if you have any other questions. And subscribe because we will be doing all of Octo Canyon. Thanks for watching. This is the Cheesy Cat, and I'll see you in the next video.